Good morning, everyone. We're in Moody Beach, Maine. We're in a lovely campground, Wales, Maine. You're gonna love this one. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do this review a little different than I normally do. I normally drive around the campgrounds, but this is like a Mike Tyson of campgrounds. It's compact, but it would knock you out. That's how good it is. Once you see this sign from the main road, you know if you've reached Moody Beach. Very close to Moody Beach, you have Wonder Mountain, which is a fun park that has mini golf, go-karts, maze, and an arcade. It's very nice. Here's the mini golf section. Again, it's very nice, well-maintained. Large mini golf section. In my previous video, we parked here and wait for check-in time. Remember, when you're traveling to Moody Beach, be sure to arrive at your check-in time, which is 12 noon. This is a popular small beach. So what that means is that there's a lot of flow through here. So they want to make sure that you have space when you come in. So they want you to come in at the recommended check-in time, which is 12 o'clock. If you come before, they may have you wait outside until that recommended time because the campground is packed, it's close to the beach, and it's very popular. The arrival gate is just up the road here. It's not too far from where you pull in, but there's plenty of space that you can pull over and wait for your time to check in. Keep in mind when you come, this is like a small town, like a city area. So compare it to Midtown, New York, when you come down, there's not a lot of space around to park outside with your RV. So you want to pull up into the campground. If you get here maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes early, there is like a small amount of space where you can park. I don't know if it's allowed or if it's legal, but we did it and no one said anything. We just stayed to the side. I'll show you that space we now. We stayed over to the right for about five minutes. It wasn't that bad. We didn't block traffic and we got in right away. Here's the check-in gate. You come in, you press the call button and wait for the instructions. As you come in, you have a large space. This is 301 and many, many RV campsites which accommodates all sizes of RVs. This level is mostly fifth wheels and class A's. It's very large sites and nice RVs. As always, I have my Mac with me doing my reviews. He loves taking the walk with me. Keeps me company. Here's one of the many outhouses in the campground. It's so nice. I didn't even know it was at our house and two, I saw the men and women signs on the door. That's how nice this campground is. Now, as you come through the gate to check in, you have to go to the second office that's gonna be on your right-hand side. You just follow the road and get to the second office. Here's a small park for the kids. This is one of the parks that I've noticed while we were here. It's a great small playground for the kids. To the left, you have some beautiful RV sites. You have a cabin and more RV sites. Very spacious. More RV sites to the side over here. It's very nice, well-maintained, and the architecture is amazing. Here's another pull-through section. These sections are mostly 30 amp, but when you come, these are, some of them are kind of difficult to get in, but once you know how to get in, it's not that difficult at all. As you can see, there are fifth wheels in these sites. So you just have to figure out how to get in. They're pulled through. You can also just back in. Maneuvering the RVs through the site wasn't hard. The roads are nice. 
the spacious, they're maintained. It's not that difficult to get into the sites once you figure out how you're gonna get in. This campground offers 30 amp and 50 amp full hookup sites. I'm spoiled, I love full hookup. When we first started camping, we only had electric and water, no sewer, but now after getting the Thousand Trails membership, I'm so spoiled. I only wanna camp with full hookups. What can I say? Thousand Trails has spoiled me. This is the lounge area. And this is the office where you have to check in. It's the country store. And look at this, today at 11.30, at 10.30, there's a member information seminar. It's free to everyone. That's awesome. Let's go look at the pool. I'm doing this review early in the morning. That's why there's not many people out. But when we come out, I'm gonna show the park lively. Here's the pool. Very clean and well kept. This is amazing. I love the pool, the smell of the chlorine, the color, the clear water. It's amazing, very well maintained. Here's the laundry mat. Another well maintained, beautiful area. And you wouldn't know it was a laundry mat unless you saw the sign. That's how nice it looked. This is definitely one of the better Thousand Trails campgrounds. And here's another bathhouse right in the back. Here's the laundry mat. Very nice. Here's the dryers, six dryers. Here's the washing machine. Seven washing machines. Here's the dryers again. A nice recreational hall here where you can enjoy with your family. If you wanna get out the sun or if it's not good weather, you can enjoy a good time in this recreational area. We have a nice, well-kept awning with some benches to shade you from the weather. Here's another playground for the kids right outside from the recreational hall. Remember guys, clean up after your pet waste. There are more campsites on the side of the recreational hall, which is amazing. These look like back in sites. I'm gonna pan around slowly. And these are more RV sites. These are mostly pull through, but they're on the side. Remember, once you manage how to get in, it's easy to get in. It's quite difficult just looking at it, but once you manage and plan out how you it's rather easy just planning our campsite is on 19th street right now i'm only on 10th street but getting a little workout in me and the dog as we walk through the campground and it's beautiful peaceful friendly the staff is very helping it's very very nice Here's the basketball court It rained yesterday. It's supposed to be very sunny today, so this water will clear up. It's very nice. There are dumpsters throughout the campground. They're in walking distance from the campsites, but they are throughout the campground. This campground has a lot of trees and it's very well shaded from the sun. Remember, there's a five mile per hour speed limit as you drive through the campground. There's a lot of children here. Right along 14th Street is the tent section. You do have some tent campers in here. One guy is cool, he has a truck top camper. That's what I wanna get. Some of the roads are gravel when you come through the campground, but they are well maintained. 
I don't see many potholes or any bumps in the road. It looks very, very smooth. Here's that truck top camper I was talking about. I'm gonna come out later to see if I can meet this guy because the truck is nice and the truck top camper is awesome. There are so many cabins in the area as well. And this is very close to the beach. Five minutes from the beach and you have a lovely campground and a small town area in Wells, Maine. This is awesome. These are more pull through sites. We're in this section here where there are many pull throughs. And as you can see, you have fifth wheels, you have travel trailers, you have pop-ups, everyone fits. And can I say, these tow vehicles also look amazing. During the course of this review, I walked from the front of the campground, the very front, even more than the front, because I went out to the street where the Moody Beach sign was. And now I'm at the very end of the campground. It's really big, it has a lot of sights. And it will knock you out how nice it is. I mean, the reviews should say it for itself how beautiful this campground is. There's a lot of campsites here. Some are close together, but once you plan out how, how to get in, it's excellent to see and it's excellent to plan here. It's full hookup sites and you have everything you would ever need when you're camping. There are more class A's over here as well. This is in the back section. Here's another vintage prowler. It's not too often when I get to see other prowlers. But this is the back of the campground. It's like a loop to go around back to the front. And it's really nice, I like it. Here's our pull through campsite. As you can see, we in 189, but you have to plan out how you're gonna get in. I go around to the front, so it's more, a little more visible. This is our site again. We're able to have our tent have our truck behind the RV, and that's our rig. It's our nice little cozy campsite. We have a concrete pad, and this is amazing. When we're in Florida, we saw only the newer campgrounds, the newer sites had all these amenities. Look how well kept this is. We didn't have to use any leveling blocks. We just drove in and everything is leveled. It's very nice. This is the back side of our campsite. This is the part where we're talking about where your work area may be close to your neighbor's work area. So it's just mapping out, having enough space, making sure you have all your hookups in the correct way so that you don't have to come back over into this area. But it's still nice. Everybody fits and no one's in each other's way and it's very nice. Here's the side of our tent area in the back of our RV. We still have a great amount of space. You know, I was able to park our tow vehicle and have our tent set up. Not a problem at this all. This is right behind our camp spot. What do you know? It's multiple other campsites and there's an open campsite right here which is amazing. Here's the map layout of Moody Beach. This map is very, very accurate of how the park is laid out and it shows where everything is. It has many sites, like I said before, compact, like Mike Tyson, but it would knock you out with everything it has to offer. The amenities, the cleanliness, the landscaping, the architecture, it's all great. 
at this Moody Beach RV campground. One thing I noticed about Moody Beach and a lot of the smaller campgrounds with a lot of space is that there are empty spaces here. You just have to drive around to find them. Now, as we came to the back of the campground, we found multiple empty spots, which is really nice. Those people probably checked out, but there were nice, spacious campsites. They're kind of awkward to get in, but once you figure out and map out how you're gonna get in, you can drive through. And uh, sometimes you gotta go back and forward just to get your rig straight and avoid any of the, the I, I call it obstacles uh, to get into your campsite. But once you get in, it's a great campsite. They're mostly leveled. And if you feel like it's really difficult for you to get in, just look around you and see the sizes of the RVs that are already in these campsites. You have large fifth wheels, you have large class A's that got in. So your rig can maneuver and get in. You just have to take your time and map out how you wanna get into your campsite. Check-in procedure was very, very simple. It was easy. I just came in, went to the office that they directed me to, got my paperwork, came to my site, called once I had got everything hooked up and I let the member office know which site I had and that was it. It was very, very simple. The staff is very friendly. And it just started off our Memorial Day weekend having a great that was time. Morning. I have to wake all of the kids up. We're going to get some breakfast. We're going to have some fun. Check out our next video. We're going to go through this park. We're going to have fun. We're going to do a lot of exciting things. But we're going to show that in the next video. I don't want to bore you guys in the review with us running around and jumping around. Some people just want to see the park. And uh, I think I accomplished that in this review of this large, beautiful, spacious park. If you like these park reviews, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you like the review, hit that like button. It really shows YouTube and it shows us that you appreciate the videos that we upload. You guys that want to see other Thousand Trails locations, let me know in the comment section so that I can go visit those parks for you. Let me go and let you know if that park is good for you and your family, or you can see from yourself from the, the videos if you like the park or if you don't like the park. I have like mostly great interactions everywhere I go, but I also show the videos of everywhere I go. So you don't have to take what I'm saying as the truth, you can see it for yourself through the videos as I go through the park and show everything. You can also leave a comment below just saying hello, saying what you like, or if I missed anything at Moody Beach. Again, this is Moody Beach in Wales, Maine, and I'm checking out here so I can start my day on this Memorial Day weekend with my family. From the bottom of my heart to yours, have a happy holiday and stay safe out there. See you later, everybody.